It is being reported that the former chief of the Indian Air Force retired Air Marshal RKS Padoria has said that after the delivery of all five squadrons of S-400 systems by Russia, the Indian Air Force will place a second order for five more S-400 squadrons, and they will be manufactured locally under transfer of technology under Make in India. The former chief of the Indian Air Force has clarified that he never said India is going to buy five more squadrons of S-400 system, and his statement is being misinterpreted by the media, and he was talking about the upcoming indigenous Arad system, that will have 300 km range XR SAM missile and 150 km range ER SAM missile. While the General Electric is awaiting an export license from the U.S. administration, officials from Rolls-Royce have said that it has already received an export license from the U.K. government for the transfer of combat engine technology to India, for engine development with a unique co-creation model, in which the intellectual property for this key technology will be developed and owned in India for the AMCA program. Rolls-Royce also claimed that US will never allow India to keep intellectual property for the engine, and India will require clearance from US administration for export of this engine for other countries, even if India secures export orders for AMCA from another country. In another example of India's successful diplomacy, Greece has rejected Pakistan's request for batteries and other necessary equipment for their fleet of submarines. Greek officials have said that it was a very easy and natural decision for decision makers, due to close ties with India, and also due to growing nexus emerging between Turkey, Pakistan and Azerbaijan. Following the installation of Indian mission computer in the MiG-29K fighter jets, the Indian Navy has begun equipping the MiG-29K with the Israeli Rampage air-launched standoff weapon that can take out high-value targets such as radar installations, communication centers, weapons storage facilities and airfields, while the launch aircraft remains out of range of enemy's air defenses. The Indian Air Force has also listed the Rampage in weapons package of the Tejas Mark II fighter jet, since the missile is very hard to intercept. The Indian Navy has test-fired a DRDO-developed extended-range anti-submarine rocket from a NS Chennai stealth guided missile destroyer, that has an improved maximum range of 9 km, as compared to existing Russian RGB-60 anti-submarine rocket that has a range of 5 km. The extended-range anti-submarine rockets will be used to disrupt enemy submarine movement before it is capable of firing torpedoes. The Tejas Mark II will undergo air intake test certification in France in June this year, at a continuous flow wind tunnel facility operated by French Aerospace Research Agency. It will be done to test air intake design, and to collect data on angle of attack and airflow at different speeds. India does not have such a facility, and each test campaign will take around three weeks, and it would cost around 8 lakh rupees per day for using such a facility in France. Embraer has announced that its C390 Millennium has received full operational capability certification from the Institute of Industrial Development and Coordination. Embraer has offered the C390 to the Indian Air Force with local production and high indigenous content in collaboration with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, and the CEO of Embraer Defence has said that India will remain the company's primary target market. Thank <laughs> you.